Hello people, I am the Oconcrete Gamer and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Deathstroke Open World mod for Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be showing screenshots because my recording software cannot record my desktop and also like I said, my uh, recording software and my editing program that I use are not getting along right now so I'm not able to show new gameplay and stuff or anything so yeah, but I will be showing screenshots of where to put the folder and stuff and telling you where. So yeah, a bunch of people wanted me to do an, uh, an install tutorial because yeah, it was fairly confusing and stuff about how to do it. So yeah, anyways, you go to, uh, well first you have to make sure you have the Deathstroke DLC and the Initiation DLC uh, in order for all the characters to work, in order for this DLC to um, to use all the characters. I don't. If you don't have them, I don't know if you can use the other non-DLC characters because I have all the DLCs, so I don't know. But I believe it doesn't work unless you have the Deathstroke DLC and the Initiation DLC. That's the only way to get uh, any of them to work, I believe, is if you have both those DLCs, but I don't know. I know to use Deathstroke in the Initiation skins, you have to. But uh, yeah, so anyways, you got to go to your files wherever you saved it. So you ju I just go to Steam, right click on, uh, well you go to your games on Steam, right click Batman Arkham Origins, hit properties, then hit local files, and then click browse local files, then it'll come up with, well you're probably seeing it on the screen, and um, you hit single player, and then you uh, click DLC, and your uh, your files you that you downloaded, you save them in one of those, uh, one of the files inside of DLC is what you do. You uh, you put your files in there. You you put the mod folder that you downloaded. I'm gonna have a download link in this description, by the way, and it's in my last video if you watch that. It's uh you take the mod folder after you've extracted it. You put it in the you know you extract it into that folder, any of the folders inside the DLC folder. You don't extract it inside the DLC folder. You extract it into one of the folders that's already inside the DLC folder. It's another thing that's a little confusing, uh, but you can do it in any folder. Yeah, any folder works. And then after that, you go, you uh, you open Arkham Origins, you hit one of the profiles, whichever one you want to do. Uh, most likely not your main one, because then uh, you can't really play missions like it glitches and stuff. Uh, when you try to play, well, like you can't really go back to normal Batman. At least that's what happened to me. I can't go back to normal Batman and play missions, uh, like the side missions and stuff. But you can't. But it does not affect New Game Plus or or uh, I am the night mode and all so yeah but anyways like I said you go to you load your profile and then you hit F1 for Red Hood F3 for Batman Unarmored which is just you know these are like these uh different uh, skins you hit F4 for Deathstroke F5 for Joker F6 for Vigilante Bruce Wayne you know the initiation DLC F7 for Bruce Wayne, F8 for Judas Contract Deathstroke, and F9 for Injustice Deathstroke. So yeah, you get all the skins and everything. And yeah, um, that is how to do it. If this does not work for you, I'm sorry, because this is what worked for me. This is this is how I did it, and it works fine, as I showed you in my other video. So yeah, have fun. This mod is so much fun. This is like what every game should have. PC, like, just, just why wouldn't you include mods? Of course... This isn't like, you know, included by the developers. But yeah, this is awesome. Have fun with the Deathstroke mod. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please give it a like. And if you have any questions about how to install it or anything, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section below. <laughs> it's still only 12 to 11. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't want to die! <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm trying to heal. <laughs>